Itachi Rail has a strong history of pioneering innovation, from our UK bimode fleets to introducing one of the world's first battery trains in Japan. We want to build on these innovations by bringing a new generation of battery trains to Europe, using proven technology to instantly improve air quality, reduce noise levels and help create cleaner cities, whilst achieving the same high levels of reliability, capacity and speed. Hitachi Rail can deliver a fully battery-powered train. When electrification stops, our battery train continues, travelling up to 90 kilometres just on batteries and recharging whilst in motion under the wires. Battery trains offer seamless journeys on suburban and rural routes, replacing old diesel trains where new trains are often overlooked. A quick and easy application of battery technology is to install it on existing or future Hitachi intercity trains. Diesel engines will be removed and replaced with batteries. Adding a battery to intercity trains can reduce fuel costs up to 30% or increase performance. These trains will be able to enter, alight and leave non-electrified stations in battery mode reducing diesel emissions and minimising noise, making train stations a cleaner environment for passengers. Our battery solution complements electrification, connecting gaps, minimising potential infrastructure costs and disruption to service. We have been developing this new technology since 2003. The trains of the future have arrived. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you to both Joe and Gary for opening up our session and starting the narrative today. You have set the tone for why new technologies on trains, be it for passenger use or for freight, can not only complement each other, but offer a viable solution in the absence of electrification. You will have just seen the video of how, in its simplest form, the battery train works and the range and the performance it delivers. So why battery, you may ask? The UK is in a unique position in terms of its forward thinking and approach to innovation. The climate change target creates a framework for the industry and opens a market opportunity due to ageing fleets being retired or coming off lease. Battery technology is proven and costs are coming down due to the economies of scale. The use of battery trains can accelerate us towards reaching the 2035 and 2040 decarbonisation targets, as well as contributing to the reduction of emissions to reach net zero by 2050. A global challenge, but one that you will hear how we in the rail industry are accepting the challenge the government has set us, and how we will work together in collaboration and be innovative in our approach to achieve this. Thank you. So moving on to slide two, by capitalising on the success of our battery trains in Japan, we have taken the next step to replicate the excellence of knowledge and capability that lies within the UK by developing a partnership with Hyperdrive. By mirroring the pace of developing the next generation of battery for the train against that of the automotive sector, we are seeing significant advancements and cross-pollination into other sectors. A huge first for the UK, for SMEs and for us at Itachi. Something that showcases the world leading capability and sets us apart from the rest of the world in this space. The slide that you can see now in front of you captures what we can deliver today. The future will see only growth and advancements. And most importantly, we will all benefit from this. The passengers and the environment we live in. And moving on to slide three. There is no denying that you will hear consistently that a fully electrified network is the dream scenario. And you will all appreciate that this will take a considerable length of time. It sits across multiple control periods and in some locations, the business case would not warrant it. Not forgetting that some locations cannot support electrification due to infrastructure challenges. Therefore, in the absence of electrified lines, both discontinuous and stage electrification are a viable alternative to resolving some of the infrastructure and cost challenges. Assumptions made on the true cost of electrifying a single track kilometre line vary significantly across the UK and do not consider whole life OPEX costs or the long term impact on the national grid 
or even distribution to local servers. My favourite saying is the art of the impossible is possible. It's only our thinking that blocks it. New technologies and solutions are available today and can bring down costs. The advantages of these types of electrification, including the battery train, are combined charging solutions. Not only delivers a solution way ahead of the decarbonisation target, but it offers an agile and flexible approach to solving the lack of sight of a full electrification programme. The battery train can run independently without wires until the OLE is installed, and then the train, if BMEU, can be converted into an EMU if required. Jay will now talk about some of the world leading charging solutions already being delivered and highlight the benefits that comes from blending two successful global businesses together. Thank you. Thanks very much, Lorna, for Hitachi Rail's concept of the battery train and its place, its valid place in the UK plans for decarbonisation of our network. Electrification of railways has always played an important part, whether it's discontinuous or continuous electrification. Both of them are valid in terms of UK meeting its net zero challenges. One key theme we wish to present to the RIA community present here today is our battery charging solution that complements what Hitachi Rail have just spoken about. Hitachi AVB power grids deploy modularized and containerized substations for these charging along the route. The containerized substations can be installed strategically at either the terminus or in between midpoint along the route of the train, giving the flexibility of charging the batteries at an optimum rate. Hitachi ABB Power Grids has a proven uh, record in terms of fast charging buses and trams using our grid emotion flash Toza charging technology that has been in operation for over four and a half years now. Uh, the key example of it is uh, the, uh, uh, the tram line that runs between Geneva city centre and the airport, which employs the Toza technology. Hitachi ABB Power Grids have taken that technology, added in a bit of innovation in terms of the UK and European market, and have come up with an innovative solution for charging battery trains using Grid Emotion Rails portfolio of products and solution inclusive of digital uh, asset management. The output from these substations is connected to a short section of 25 kV overhead lines, whereby the train's pantograph would be able to pick up the charge in a way that it optimizes the charging of the battery to uh, prolong the life of the batteries at the same time. Ongoing collaboration with Hitachi Rail has given us, Hitachi ABB Power Grids, a good insight into what the battery trend requires in terms of the charging loads and how to carry out smooth and optimized charging to ensure longevity of the battery and the conversion system which are on board the rolling stock. The concept of digital grid and power supply management can also be deployed to ensure energy efficiency of the overall system. The experience, know-how and the superior leadership that Hitachi ABB Power Grids has in the utility market can be utilized and uh, used to support Network Rail and other stakeholders in deploying these substations along the route to, to charge up the battery trains. Hitachi battery trains and the Grid Emotion Rail charging solution, both of them are a clear way forward in supporting net zero for the UK through a rolling program of electrification. Thank you.